Today we're taking a look at the 10 litre sling from Peak Design. This is the everyday sling bag. Now I've reviewed both the 3 litre and the 6 litre along with the original 5 litre sort of medium sized sling which has now been discontinued. So yeah in today's video we're taking a look over the 10 litre. So as per usual let's start with the external bag design. Starting with the front of the bag we have this ginormous of it. This is a big bag so you can be able to get an iPad mini in there easily there's plenty of space for many things you can put in the front of the bag but we have weather sealed zips and a little bit of an overhang here peak design logo on the lip of the bag nice zippers we have the 400d nylon exterior now this is going to take a shower definitely weatherproof you've got weather sealed zips that go around the outside here so you've got this double zipper that goes all the way around the top of the bag for the main compartment so what else do we have on the outside of the bag? We also have the um, capture clip anchor points. So these are where you would put the capture clip or camera clip on here. And it has it on both sides of the bag, depending on which side you would wear it. You have a little bit of a security tag here. So the zips can come all the way down and you can tuck them through this little tag here so that adds a little bit of security to the bag and then other elements on the front of the bag we have a lot of these tether points for the expandable straps so if you want to brace like a tripod or something along the bottom of the bag then you have lots of different sort of tether points to be able to do that what else have we got on the outside of the bag we have the grab handle on the back of the bag here now this is definitely big enough to go over a suitcase handle so if you're traveling you could put this easily over a suitcase handle and this would be then sort of hands free and you can wheel it around on your suitcase it is quite padded so I quite like that again very durable exterior on the back we have the usual peak design very strong adjustable strap show you this so these are the pivot points in the corner and then any loose pieces of strap you can tuck down inside the bag here so you've got this adjuster here you have the usual nicely padded shoulder strap peak design logo on here and then you can unclip it and then clip it onto here if you wanted to use it as a waste bag in my opinion it's a little bit too big for a waist pack. You have the adjuster, which again is the same on all of the sling bags. Very easy to undo and do up again. And then the very nice durable sort of seatbelt type fabric for the strap. So that's the exterior of the bag. Let's have a quick look inside. So as I said, double zips. And then going inside, it's a cavernous space um, compared to the two smaller bags they have in their line. So yeah, you have the main compartment. You have two of these origami style um, sort of shelf dividers so you can then stack lenses and what have you inside the bag and move those around because they're on velcro we don't have the stash pockets as we do on the smaller bags we don't actually have that on this 10 litre bag we do however have and just double checking this is the 10 litre and it says it right there we do however have that internal zip pocket and inside here are the compression straps for the outside of the bag so we have two of those with plastic clips on the ends and again you could either leave those on the outside or tuck them back in your bag this pocket you can fit good size phone in there uh, you have the uh, battery pockets again denoted with the different colored stitching so you can put your charge batteries in those two and then when they're discharged you can put them in there just to make sure you know which is which I prefer to put an elastic band around charge batteries and then obviously once you've used it there's no elastic band on the battery anymore so that's that pocket and then what else we have the laptop pocket at the back here now that has a little magnet on it so a magnetic closure and you can easily get a macbook air into here so that goes in the back you could probably fit an ipad in there as well with it because there is actually quite a lot of space I would have liked to have seen a zipper on this part of the bag here to be able to access that laptop compartment. I prefer it on the outside rather than on the inside like that. I know it's probably more secure to have it on the inside. Yeah, personal opinion, I'd rather have it on the outside. And then leaving the laptop in the bag, in terms of camera fits, I have my Fujifilm X-T4 with the 18 to 120 mm lens and that fits in there with loads of extra space so obviously you can put more gear down the sides here and then that does up well, that's what it looks like with a camera or a laptop in it so that was our quick look at the peak design 10 litre everyday sling